Howdy, Parson Patty here, and I'm junk journaling. So come on along. This is my Cosmic Smash Book with the Boho cover, formerly known as my Boho Journal. But I've made the life-changing decision just to smash everything into one journal at a time instead of having all different journals and glue books. I took the time this morning to sew in two signatures. If you've been following me, you've watched me do a couple pages in the first signature. But I went ahead and sewed that in and I made a second signature with some of the same papers and a few different ones I added. So I have two signatures with 12 sheets in each and I've never had so many sheets in one signature before but I decided to go with two signatures instead of three smaller ones. And we shall see what happens. Everything is an experiment. And so now I'm journaling, I'm nature journaling, I'm gluing, I'm trashing everything into one journal. Oh, I added this on. This was a wonderful tag that Zena had sent me with a bunch of boho supplies. It was just so beautiful. I just gave it a page all to its own. It's got layers of netting and material and laces and bling. You can put bling on the little lady there. Eyelash, some silk, some sparkle. Some ribbon, it's probably sorry silk. And I love it and it fills up a whole page just by itself. And I wrote Zena over there because she sent it to me. Thank you, Zena. So I did rabbit pages yesterday. And while I was going through some junk, I found this picture of a peacock feather that I had painted at some point in time for some reason. Don't remember why, but I was thinking of adding that somewhere. And I do have some peacock material and some peacock feather material and somewhere I have a real peacock feather. So I just might do some gluing to start off my journaling today and make a peacock page. And then I gathered up some things just to make a page for my brother because May is his birthday month. So I'm gonna go, see, find my feather, find a few things, I'll be right back. So first what I did was just cut out one of the peacocks from that material and took a little tacky glue and glued it down to this page. And maybe I'll come back later another time and put a little picture or something there. But I just wanted to glue a peacock in my book, so I did. On this page, I cut the peacock feather that I drew down a little bit, put a little notch. I'm going to make a tall pocket out of this, and maybe sometime I'll figure out what I'm going to put in there. But I'm not going to do that today. And can you see that? It's like iridescent paint on the feather. Kind of pretty. So I went over to the sewing machine and I made a little ruffle. I'm going to put that on the side. And I want it to peek out a little bit so it softens the edge of the peacock picture too. Then I was thinking about putting a little bling on the ruffle. And I've got blue. And I've got white pearls. White might look nice because this has a white background. I got the Tiffany blue. And I've got the darker, I don't know, it's either blue or purple. I can't figure that out. So let's see. This one might be too close in color. Maybe I'll just put a strip of this on there. So I'm 
going to go ahead and do that. Okay, I've got my strip of bling on my soft fabric ruffle. And you want a nice hard look against a soft look. It's kind of a nice contrast. This is my tall pocket with the peacock feather that I drew. And on this side, it's just a peacock. You got a little bit of that ruffle peeking through. And when I trimmed this to fit, there was two left over, so I just glued one up there and glued one down here on the bottom. So I'm gonna leave that page for now and work on a birthday page for my brother. Well, I made one more thing for my peacock page. I put this little journaling card. Well, it's not little. It's kind of a long, thin journaling card. And I cut the top with a die. Oops. The die is to make a, like a frame. But I just used the top half. And that's a journaling card for the pocket, so I'll probably find something to put on there. Not right now, though. I was just looking for things for my brother's birthday. I like the way that pokes out, but it's not very strong, so I don't know how that's going to last on there. But we'll see. Then I found this card. It's a sympathy card. And I don't know... This was either given to me when my father died or when my horse died. But I like it. It's got elephants on it. I have a lot of elephants in my boho journal. And also it's a fold-out card. So I'm going to decorate the pages. This is orange, so I'm going to put on this orange page. And my brother was in the Army during the Vietnam War, so here's an old Army picture of him from wartime. And I looked through my trash, because this is also my trashy journal. And this is a cutout from a magazine or a flyer or something. So I might add that. And then I have, let's see. I have some of this scrapbooking paper that was a gift to me back... Um, I think it was A.C. Moore. If you were a teacher once a year on Teacher's Appreciation Day, they would gift you some things. And this was in one of my goodie bags. And that was years and years ago. So I'm going to, let's see, maybe I'll decorate the card first and then glue it in. The cat just jumped on my back. She's doing a balancing act right now. This is a perfect size to go into here. Like that. Maybe I just have to trim that white edge a little bit. And let's see, then we're gonna put a picture of him somewhere. You put him there, I can put him here. I can put him on the cover there, right? Let's put him there. We could just glue him there and glue that there. And then let's see. I have the word our heroes. I could change that to our hero, right? And let's see, do I have more pictures of him? I have this little picture. And I have this picture that my father took and developed back in the 1950s. I might put that on there too. All right, let's see. First of all, do I need to get the cat off my back? Because that's bothering me. I think I'm gonna glue him on here, all right. So we got a little bit of a plan going here. And let's see, and there's my scissors. And I'm just gonna trim this white edge off like this. I 
And let's see, I want to trim it down. So where's my trimmer? Trimmer, trimmer is under the pile of stuff. And we're going to take a little off the top. See what we got. I don't want to cut the flag, but I'm going to take just a little bit more off the top. Like that. And because I wanted to get the, the guy's arm in there. I think it just got his arm in. I trim it right there. Perfect, perfect. All right, I'm going to go do some gluing. I was worried about this little journaling card, so I put a back on it, just some dark green, because this little top was already starting to bend. And I want to decorate this and bling it up, but I'm going to wait until I decide what I want to journal on this page. So I'll probably put something on the back of that, but like I said, I'm going to wait until I have a journaling subject for that page. And Mr. Possum was making a lot of noise again in the garage. That's one problem about having my table right next to the window, which is right next to the garage, which when the garage door is open, I get all the garage noises. But we just have to live with that, don't we? Okay, so my card is glued in, and this is what I did. I put this picture of Vietnam on the front. And I'm going to show you these little sparkly blue accents. Dolores just gifted me this die. Party, cakes, presents, balloons. So I cut it out of this sparkly blue paper and added some sparkly accents. So the first flip there has a balloon. Oh, and I put a little piece of Velcro here to kind of keep that closed. And then the picture of him at the beach, this was 1963, and what he's actually doing is micro-shelling. He's looking for little tiny, 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 oh, you can't see any details without a magnifying glass, shells. That's called micro-shelling. Instead of looking for great big shells, he's looking for the tiny, tiny, tiny ones. I put a little ice cream there because he's at the beach. I said, it's your birthday. Hope you find what you're looking for. And then I put a fun picture of him over here. This was 1968. And I gave him a little sparkle birthday hat and a little sparkle birthday cake. Oh, and on these two pictures, I put some uh, fabric background. I put the word party up in the circle here and added a couple of those sparkly blue dots and then open that up and there's the veteran and this picture my father took and my father was um, a very interesting man he had lots of hobbies at different times and at one time he decided to teach himself photography and how to develop in a dark room so he made a dark room in one of our closets and he would go in there and take pictures of us and then develop them. So I made this little tag from the dark room of Charles E. Rhine. Put two little sparkly presents down there. And that's my happy birthday page honoring my brother. And I think that's all I'm gonna do today because it was a lot of work just sewing in the signatures and adding some different papers. This is a new paper I put in. This is a new paper. I just wanted a few different papers in here. And let's see, I put the 
this paper in. So I don't have too many pages done today, but like I said, I did get everything sewn in the book. And these are gonna be very fat signatures because I put 12 pages in each. I only made two, so it's gonna be two fat signatures. So I'm pretty happy with today's progress. And I just want to thank you for coming along. Oh, this is one of the uh, headbands from the Dollar Tree. I was looking for some more of them, but I couldn't find them. And uh, if you can find them, you get, I don't know, there's a package of them, like three or four, whatever, for a buck. And I'm going to use that for right now to keep this closed. And I just want to thank you all for coming along. And happy junk journaling. Bye-bye now.